Hello, I am Sujoy and today I will tell you how to do IRS upgradation on a Cisco switch and lots of tricks and tips at the end of the video. So let's start. Step number one, connect console cable with the switch and open hyper terminal or putty to get console screen. Number two, connect a LAN cable on any port of the switch and connect that to your laptop or desktop for the activity. Just note on which port you are connecting because there may be more than one VLAN. I will come to that point later. For now, let's assume there is only one VLAN, VLAN 1 in the switch, which is the default VLAN. So after getting console, go to switch hatch prompt, then type CONF space T to go to global configuration mode, that is switch config hash prompt, then give command int space vlan space 1 which is interface vlan 1 press enter prompt will change to switch config if hatch prompt it's called interface configuration prompt now give command ip space add space the ip you want to assign so my ip will be 10.117.35.1 space subnet mask which is 255.255.255.0 that is slash 24 press enter this will assign this IP address to interface VLAN 1 then give command no space shutdown press enter this will enable the VLAN press ctrl C to come back to switch hatch prompt again it's called privilege mode of switch step number 2 when you have connected the LAN cable on any port of switch and on your laptop or desktop this icon will come here this LAN icon right click on this click on open network and sharing center scroll down to either internet protocol version 4 TCP slash IPv4 click on that and click on properties it will open this dialog box and here you have to assign the IP address IP address 10.117.35.223 subnet mask 255.255.255.0 default gateway will be 10.117.35.1 this IP address is assigned on the VLAN 1 of the switch and this 233 IP we are assigning on our laptop to be able to communicate with the switch after assigning the IP address click OK click OK and close it Go to command prompt and give the command ipconfig and press enter. This will show you the IP address assigned on the Ethernet 10.117.35.233, subnet mask 255.255.255.0, and default gateway 10.117.35.1. From switch hatch prompt, ping 10.117.35.233. You can see the success rate is 100%. That means from switch we are able to communicate with the laptop now make a folder and paste the IOS file you want to copy so IOS file is c3750-ipservices-mz.122-25.8.0 bin this IOS file we have to load on the switch now you have to use the TFTP D32 exe software right click on that software and click on run as administrator now you enter your administrator username and password if needed then software will run from server interface select the IP address you want to communicate with on so I want to communicate on the IP address 10.117.35.233 select the IP address and minimize the application again go to switch hatch prompt and give command copy space tftp colon space flash colon press enter it will ask you address or name of remote host give the IP address of your laptop or the TFTP server 10.117.35.223 press enter it will ask you source file name so copy the IS file name up to dot bin that is the file name with the extension and paste the IS file name here ending at dot bin press enter it will ask you for destination file name press enter again now it will uh, access the TFTP server on this IP address for this file and you soon you will get the prompt loading this iOS file from this IP address via VLAN 1 
and it will go some exclamation signs that means the is file is copying remember exclamation signs are good but zero signs are bad so try to keep zero signs as low as possible if, if there are so many zero icons then uh, you need to check that cable connectivity or you need to change the cable also or try a different device so after some time you will get this message okay this much bytes copied in this much seconds is file is copied now you need to verify the is file whether it is copied properly or not or there is any uh, mismatch in the file or not in that case from switch hatch prompt give command verify space slash md5 space flash colon the is file name press enter it will take some time and will generate a md5 value it's a large number alphanumeric i will tell you later about this so when is file is copied again from switch hatch prompt give command config space t press enter it will go to switch config hatch prompt then give command boot space system space flash colon then the recently copied is file name up to dot bin press enter you can check the changes by do space so space boot it will show you the change the current is file is this now you need to write it so from switch config hatch prompt give command do space write to write the changes after that from switch config hatch prompt give command do space reload this will reload the switch and after reload is completed the switch will boot with the new ios now let me tell you some tips and tricks so when accessing the tftp server sometimes you may get error that request timeout for accessing tftp server in that case although the ping is successful with the laptop or the tftp server the file is not being copied because there may be multiple instances of the tftp server running in that case open windows task manager by control shift and escape button go to processes and select the application or process tftp d32.exe select that process and click end process there may be more than one instances of the process you have to select all of them and individually you have to end the end the processes thereafter run the tftp d32 again run a germ starter and this time the tftp server should be reachable tip number 2 how to find the md5 value of the is file for that you have to use a software called hashcalc download it from internet and select the is file path so here i have selected the is file and click open when the is file is loaded click on calculate it will generate the md5 hash for you this value should match the value shown on the switch cisco switch if both the values are not matching then delete the is file copied and copy it again tip number 3 we allocated the ip address 10.117.35.1 on vlan 1 on switch and we assigned the ip address 10.117.35.2.3 on our laptop so how to know which ip address to assign you can get that from this subnet mask value here subnet mask value is 255.255.255.0 that is slash 24 that means the fourth octet is variable so this value can be from 1 to 254 our value was 233 that is acceptable for example if the subnet mask value is 255.255.255.248 then there is 5 bit reserved and 3 bits unreserved and valid host will be 6 hosts only so network id will be 10.117.35.0 and valid host address will be from 10.117.35.1 to 10.117.35.6 this is nothing but submitting i already have uploaded a video on 11 submitting calculations in just 8 minutes do watch that video that will clear all your doubts about submitting calculations and you will be able to do any submitting calculations in just 10 minutes link to that video is in the video description below tip number 3 
in real life there may be more than one villains already configured on switch so here we are con considering only one villain villain one but there may be more than one villain for example villain 10 20 30 40 and so on in that case you have to check the villain and the acceptable ip address range so you can get the villain information from switch hatch prompt give command show space run and press enter so from running config look for the interface villain and the villain value for example let's say it's villain 10 in that case look at the ip address of that villain and the subnet mask so the subnet mask value will tell you what are the valid ip addresses allowed in that villain and, and you have to also consider which ports are in that villain for example the ports 2 5 and 3 can be on villain 10 so you have to uh, connect your laptop only on the ports 2 5 and 3 to do the ios upgrade and activity to know which ports the villains are uh, the villains are configured give command show space villain and to show running config show run so if you are taking ip address for villain 10 then you have to connect only on that ports on on which the villain 10 is configured for some real life tips i hope you enjoyed this video you can watch my other ccna tutorials link to all of them is in the video description below so thanks for watching see you in my next video and don't forget to like and share the video